Hello and welcome to Creative Change Workshops. My name is Hannah Aria and we are on week 14. Today we have a fabulous show ahead of us with loads of amazing submissions. We've even got some new people joining us, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you to Arts Council England, to Pretty Solicitors and Suffolk Archives for helping us make this happen. Now, we were hoping to have the legendary Jaden as my co-host, but they're not quite ready yet. So we're going to have to kind of hang on for them to join us. But in the meantime, I thought we'd have a bit of an update on Face Paint Friday. Now, as you can see, I, I actually don't have any face paints on today. I've got purple hair. I change my hair pretty much every week. So don't get too confused by that. But the reason I haven't got face paints on today is because I tried drawing green leaves and because I have a green screen behind me, this fabulous mansion is not real, sadly. Um, basically, the green leaves turned into holes in my face, which was quite funny for me, but might have been a bit scary for new members and the audience. So I've had to scrub it off and just stick some makeup on for now. But we have Mandy with us. So if we can get Mandy up, I would love to show you her face paints. All set for Face Paint Friday. Hello, Mandy. Hi. <laughs> you look a little bit like Elsa today with your hair like that from Frozen. It's all my own. It's all my own. Grew it myself. <laughs> that is amazing. Can, can we maybe get a close up? I don't know if we can get you. Oh, perfect. Tell us about your design. This is gorgeous. Well, I've gone sort of like leafy, fairy, sparkly, just threw the whole wax at it today. <laughs> oh, I love it. And your hair looks really pretty. You've got like little glittery bits in it or something. Yeah, well, actually, oh. when Jaden's on, Jay, this was a present from Jaden. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I I actually went and saw Jaden this week and I saw his his little hat and mask and stuff close up and they are so much better when you see them in real life I've taken oh. a picture and put them on Instagram so hopefully people will get to check them out and Charles has already commented on your beautiful face paints saying oh, fantastic you. Mandy <laughs> really stunning hi Katie great to see you hi Oliver Oliver's saying hello to everyone if you are joining us on the live stream please type in the chat box to let us know that you're here so that we can say hi, get to know everyone. And as we show the artwork, it is just really encouraging if you can make some positive comments and cheerlead us on. So I'm just going to look at my little plan to see. Yes. You have a plan? So, <laughs> kind of. It's, it's a very <laughs> loose term in my world. Um, <laughs> so we're going to look at your images first, Mandy. Okay. So these are a bit of a throwback to it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mix up of a few things that we've done over recent weeks isn't it it is well the original picture there is drawn by um my big girl Shanice and so I photocopied it and I went and raided the I went for a lovely walk and lots of flowers not out of anybody's garden they're all natural and wild <laughs> yeah and threw some glue at it and just yeah it was, it was quite good fun. Wonderful. I think we've got some old um, comments coming up from previous episodes, which is quite funny. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so Naz is saying stuff that she probably said about three weeks ago. <laughs> Evening, everyone. Looking forward to showing your work. Oh, I think... We've got all our magical fairies in the background, you see. Sorry, magical fairy slipped and pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite amusing. I was like, that comment has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but it's quite amusing. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Katie says, Mandy, you look like you've come from Fern Gully. Evening oh. all. I love that film. <laughs> Looking as beautiful as ever, Mandy, says Naz. Gosh. I bet Naz was confused when she read it as well, actually. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> ah, Samantha's with us as well, and she says, love the black and red in the bottom right. That was, yeah, a, that's... That, that was a filter. I love playing around with the filters on. Um, it, it can change the whole look of everything. 
Absolutely. And so did you go for a walk and just kind of collect these? Like what was what was the story of how it I, all came to I be? did. Well, I, I've been sort of like stuck indoors because I work from home and I kind of like I needed the motivation to get out. So, so I use this as my motivation. And where I live, I'm lucky. Um, we've got a lovely country park. And so I took a wander through there and it's one of my most favourite places. So, um, but I did feel kind of like a bit sneaky cutting the flowers and cut. I thought someone was going to come tell me off. <laughs> <laughs> Stealing the, the random plants. Well, you didn't steal yeah. whole plants. No, I didn't, no I didn't know. I didn't know. I love the little daisies in there as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And your daughter's a tattoo artist, isn't she? She is indeed. And that's where, oh, which side, this side. This is one of my first tattoos that she done. So I'm I'm a walking gallery of her work. It's a work Aww, in progress. <laughs> love that. Part of me really wants to like go make some real headdresses now, like some little flower wreaths, because yeah, that'll be yeah. quite cool. Do you know, it'd be so nice that to have sort of like an outdoor party where we can all dress up like that, maybe. Yeah. In the woods. May Maybe like a midsummer's night dream type theme oh, yes. because we've got Jaden with his, his leaf hat and um yes. and the mask and stuff. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Nature is such a great art material. It really is. Yes, absolutely. Is. Oh, and a quick update about next week for those of you that don't know. Um, next Friday, instead of us being live on the Friday, we're moving it to the Saturday night. And the reason for that being that I'm actually exhibiting in London in Whitechapel. And if you're interested in attending, we have a very small number of spaces left for the private view. And you have to book online with Boomer Gallery and all of the information will be on Facebook. But basically you can book in for a 30 minute visiting slot between six and nine. And they're going to have caviar and champagne. And obviously you get to meet us. So, you know... 30 minutes it's a bit of a trek to London I know but it should be good fun and for those who can't make it and I know quite oh hi Sally great to see you for those of you that can't make it but we also know that you're you're very loyal fans and you've been with us for weeks and weeks and weeks we're gonna try and do an end of project celebration meetup in Ipswich so we will let you know the the details of that probably next Saturday hopefully so not too much information one thing at a time um but yes mandy is coming naz is coming um charles is coming and jasmine the magical fairy if you would like to meet her she will be there too so yes always just get in touch if you are interested and if not we will see you next saturday but you can still wear face paints i'm trying to think of a rhyming hashtag for face paint saturday but <laughs> stylish saturday Feel Nazi free to Saturday. suggest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charles says, lovely design, Mandy. I can smell the roses. Oh, yes. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you've got your, I love the dress. <laughs> it's stunning. The little dress is beautiful. Yes, yes. I did cheat a little bit. I photocopied a silhouette and cut it out. Um, cause I, do you know, I always find the best site is kind of like spontaneous. When you can, yeah. when you're in the mood and you can get it done, you know I want things done then and there. <laughs> None of this time for drying out of paints and stuff. <laughs> That's why I I've avoided oil painting because, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I'm one of these people that like really struggles to know when it's done, and I'll just keep going and keep going. Mm -hmm. And with oil painting, if it hasn't dried, you can totally ruin it. So it's no, a skill. It? It's knowing when to stop, isn't it? It's yeah, yeah full stop. <laughs> And talking of which, I delivered, I don't know if you've seen my, my grumpy cat picture. I am not a pet portrait artist at all, but for a special person, as a special request, I did do this quite random grumpy, pat, grumpy cat picture. And it's now been rehomed forever. So, Aww. Aww. Hopefully Lovely. grumpy cat will be a happy cat now. Yeah, that's a good thing. Well, I put happy collector with grumpy cat as my little my little title for the picture. So, so have we seen all of them now? Because I can never remember how many pictures we've got to look at. And I, 
Yeah, Ari. I, I think I just said three. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So thank you very much, Mandy. And You're I'm welcome. really pleased that you're coming next Friday. Yes. And we've got the new challenge out today. I don't know. Has anyone seen it yet? I'm trying to remember what it was because I filmed them all already. <laughs> it was my birdies. How could you oh, forget? Oh, <laughs> it's the birdie one. Oh, people have been looking forward to that. I know Sally's really interested in learning how to do birds and Pete and Nikki. Oh, good. So. I winged it. I winged it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's awesome. 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 And I'm going to be, well, staying in London for a night. So I'm, I'm hoping that I'll actually have some time by myself without the pressures of work to actually do some drawing. So wow. I'm going to attempt to do the tutorial and bring my work as homework as well. So, and yeah, so you'll be hosting with me next week. Is that okay? You free next um. Saturday? I think so at the moment. <laughs> cool. Awesome. <laughs> Fabulous. So thank you so much. And we're going to move on now to Charles. Say bye for now. <laughs> and Charles has also adorned his hat. Can we get a close up of the hat? Look at this. How on earth did you manage to make this? It's brilliant. Hello, everyone. It's it's made of wire and cellophane and coloured paper. It's gorgeous. It's can terrible. You wear that, can you wear that next Friday for the private view? Because that's well I'm, cool. I am thinking of doing exactly that. Yay! Do it, do it. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great fun. I'm so pleased you're coming. Oh, we've got comments saying how much people love your hat. Thank you. <laughs> Oliver says, wow, Charles, serious hat envy right now. Well, I've been so bad at not doing face paint. That I thought I really must do something. So that is amazing. I love it. I reckon Jaden will love that as well when he joins. Um, oops, sorry, I'm getting distracted by all the messages. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's so much going on. Oh, there's something on your hat, Charles. <laughs> Sally says, striking looking hat. <laughs> I think you missed out last, last well, our last project that we ran with um, Daisy, which was called Between Spaces. We actually made dragonflies oh. and, we, and we learned about them. And apparently they have teeth, which is quite terrifying. So I was picturing these vampire killer insects. <laughs> God, I didn't know they had to. I know, because they're such beautiful creatures, aren't they? Aren't they? Yes, yes. Now, I... before we proceed, I'm going to see if we can get Jaden on, because I think Jaden needs to be part of this discussion. It would be nice. Um, so, bear with, bear with. Or we'll talk about something interesting, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> here he is, here he is. Oh, just in time. Jaden, can we hear you? I was. Yay! Hi, Jaden. Hi. Uh, we are going to hand. You even noticed me. Oh, oh, see, this is my ADHD. I get so distracted, but I was about to go look for you on my phone to make sure you could come and join us, you see. But Charles has been doing a lot of work thinking about your conversation last week. So I'm going to hand over to him now to talk to you. Is that okay? Yeah, I, I wanted to thank you for a comment you made last week, Jaden, when you when I was talking about this dragonfly that I'd found, and you said, um, "Are you going to bury it?" And my first thought was, "I, I, I actually like it. I, I kind of want to hold on to it for a little while." And then I got thinking about it, and it's sort of become an inspiration to me because I've actually put it in this week's drawings as you can see so there it is in black and white and then there's another one in rainbow color um and i thought do you know what the idea of burying the dragonfly and my imagination got going you know like how it starts whirring away and you get all these yeah. ideas coming in and i thought i wonder if we could actually make an event for burying the dragonfly and i thought of this wonderful title well, you may think it's wonderful it's got a very funny word 
I could call it the apotheosis of a dragonfly. An apotheosis, I stole the word from paintings in Greenwich, where these mad artists in the 18th century painted kings flying up into the clouds, into the heavens. So I thought the idea is, oh yes, let's let's give the dragonfly a send off like it's flying up into the clouds. Except it won't be flying up into the clouds. Maybe. It could be buried with a trowel. What do you think of that idea? It's a thumbs up. We it's see you a thumbs, thumbs up. <laughs> maybe we could do like, maybe we could do like a painting session. So we get like painting, um, like a small, like a digger, like, I mean, a, like a spade in the ground with like a little um, rock with a little stone that says rip on it. Yeah, and then draw a ghost of a dragonfly going up into the heaven. Like a painted stone when you on the, on the ground. Lovely. Yes, I, I like that idea. I'm now thinking that our, our last social in Ipswich is going to be a Midsummer Night's Dream celebration with ritualistic dragon burial, dragonfly burials, which it could be, couldn't it? Well, well, it could be forest fairies. <laughs> when my mind started really working on this idea, um, you know how musicians do a, like a remix? They get an old tune and they do a new version of it. Well, a long time ago, about 10 years ago, I did a series, started a series of pictures, and I wanted to name every single one after a species in the United Kingdom that is endangered, that's on the endangered list, that, it's, that there are you know, very few of them left and they're threatened. The dragonfly, fortunately, isn't a threatened species, but the, uh, the stag beetle that I did last week, that is. And I thought, well, we could... We could bury the the dragonfly with a kind of party or a ceremony or an, an event or almost like a carnival. And we could all sort of dress up as an endangered species. And I, I, I got my notebook out and I sort of like dug it out and thought, right, which what 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 may, what could we dress up as? So you could be you could be a bottlenose dolphin. You could be a crawn crake, which is a kind of bird. You could be a sand lizard. You could dress up as a fish or a natterjack toad or a, and the list is endless. You could even be, how about being <laughs> a land snail or a, a medicinal leech? Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. Or a or a fen orchid. Or a <laughs> how about how about a costume based on a sandy still puffball? I well that sounds like me when I had mumps, to be right. honest. Right. My right. whole face came out like this. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'll claim that one. I'll do a bit of research. <laughs> So I thought I'd just throw that idea out. I thought, well, we, you know, we could have it. It'd be, it'd be like a party and a carnival and a ceremony, and we could make it. What, what we, what we make of it? I think that sounds fabulous. So can we get Jaden back up for a second so he can he can give his final feedback on this bird? Hello, Jaden. Were you listening to that Sorry, that list of possibilities? Yeah, Did you hear the list? It's bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Totally. All right, well, we can take you yeah. off in a second, but we've got a long list of endangered species. Are you up for the challenge of like maybe dressing up of, as one of them for when we have our, our meet up in real, maybe in a park or something? Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. There's a good list there. We'll have to get Charles to email me the list so I can share it with everyone and then we can all pick one. But I'm definitely up for... And I can't even remember what it's called, but the puffball thing. <laughs> I'll just come as a puffball. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, 
there's a kind of mouse as well, which is such a cute little creature. It sort of like curls up in a spiral to go to sleep. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, anyway, I'll, I'll send the list. That would be great. Thank you. And are you impressed by this idea of the, the dragonfly question? Celebration to me or to Charles, but yes, you can. I think there's a bit of a delay. Do I look a bit scary? You do look a bit scary. But I was saying to everyone that I've seen the mask close up and I've shared a picture on Instagram and it's absolutely incredible. But when you see it from a distance, it does look a bit like a monster, doesn't it? But you're rocking it. You look awesome. 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 <laughs> and anyway. Jaden, what do you think of Charles's dragonfly on his hat? Can you see? It's good. It's it a big cool. thumbs up. It... Big thumbs up. Well, thank, thank you for what you said last week, Jaden. It was an inspiration for me. It gave me lots of ideas. Brilliant. Bye for now, Jaden. We'll speak to you soon. Yeah, I think their connection's a bit difficult, but I'm really pleased that we got to connect you guys for this. And do you want to tell us a little bit about, about your work? We can go back a, a couple as well, if you like. Yeah, I did three. There, so there's there's the real dragonfly again. And I wasn't I wasn't sure what gender it was. I mean, how do you know what gender a dragonfly is? I'm sure people know, but I don't. <laughs> no <idea. laughs> And as it was LGBTQ last month, this, this burp, month, yeah. I thought, well, let's 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 do an LGBTQ dragonfly as well. So there it is. And uh, there's a black and white version as well. That they, they were very small leaves, actually. I had a bush that died this year, so I just cut the leaves. So you can hardly make out that they're but they are the they are rubbing on that, you know, the rubbing is on on a, on a set of leaves. Yeah, you can see some textures coming through there really nicely. Sort of created um, some nice patterns. And the third one is a black and white one, the horizontal one, which is it's almost like waves in the sea, that one. This one, I think, my, well, I love the dragonfly ones, but this is my favourite for, like, detail of the actual prints, if you see what I mean. The textures are gorgeous. I, I really liked these leaves, and I noticed that they'd been eaten by all these insects or whatever, so they were perforated like lace. So, wow. I, so I, I picked them and stuck them down because they were very fragile, and then I did a rubbing of them uh once they were stuck down it's just pencil i didn't have any wax cranes so i just use uh, pencils that's really effective i've I've been given my prompt to hurry up and move on the chris witty it says move on slide <laughs> but thank you so much and it's yeah you've brought so much this week and we've got some great ideas to move forward with so looking forward to seeing you friday and and we'll see you on saturday next week too hopefully bye for now Bye. Bye. Oh, that was wonderful. I love that hat. So, yes, if some of you are too shy to get involved with Face Paint Friday, hats are another option. And here we yeah. have Sam. Talking of hats, you've got accessories. Do you want yeah. to tell us about your face paints and accessories today? All oh, right. The accessory I found is an alpaca unicorn. Well, I hope it is. It's really Yay. unicorn. But it looks quite nice, <laughs> doesn't it? It's very soft and comfortable. Nice to wear. Yeah. And you've, you've given me the perfect introduction to say something totally <laughs> random. Our video editor, um, Anna, sent me an email today, like, you know, standard email, because I was just trying to get hold of her on the phone. And she said, sorry, I couldn't get back to you. I was on an, an alpaca husbandry course. <laughs> Brilliant. And I was like, that's a really normal everyday reason why you can answer the phone. <laughs> I was like... Awesome. I've got to share that with the group because how many people go on alpaca husbandry courses? Well, Very apparently our team are rocking the support for alpaca well-being and breeding. So <laughs> <laughs> um, excellent face paints. Lovely. Can yeah. we see what are your face paints this week? Now the brick wall to symbolise barriers that we might have in life and things. And it's supposed to be a cue. Oh, I'm drifting off the wrong side. You yeah, have to come a bit more central. <laughs> a cue for the 
quotes that we had last week in quotation marks. Oh, it, didn't work. it didn't work that well, that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a brilliant effort, brilliant effort. Sally loves the alpacas, alpaca unicorns. Yeah. We should probably start that as a hashtag, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, we'll see how the husbandry thing goes on. You know, she's got a spare unicorn. She could be, you know, starting her own whole new breed. Right, yeah. <laughs> now, right. I have to say, the words of this really, yeah. really like um powerfully affected me because oh. I'd just done a performance piece about what it feels like to hit the wall. Yeah. And it, it was like a theatre performance, but I'd been thinking about that, you know, when emotionally you just feel overwhelmed and you're just like, I just can't do this anymore. I just need to go to sleep. And then within like an hour you sent this through to me and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. destiny. You know it's weird, yeah. The, the words came to me as I, you know, just as I was finishing it. Really, it's strange, and I've noticed the coloured bricks on your creative change, and I hadn't realised that I was doing coloured bricks like <laughs> you've got on your creative change slide. So that's good. And rub the brick to start with, and I went wrong the first one, so I actually used it to practice other colours on. So that's quite good. I originally was going to do black between the bricks, but that was definitely too dark so I did the brown hatching type thing and then the plant the climbing plant sort of signifying that we can overcome obstacles and it might take a while it might take a long time for a plant to grow for a bit or or someone to recover from something but they'll get there in the end and that's when I came up with the words yeah climb the wall if you need to nature does and it, it's kind of like nature always finds a way, doesn't it? Like, I yeah. mean, if you've got a tiny little pothole even in the road where it's all ta tarmac around, yeah. weeds will grow, yeah. won't they? Yeah. And your driveway, same thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's, and, um, hopefully we're going to do some more quotes like that and put them on my anxiety, voice for anxiety page and hopefully help people with those. I think you need to, you need to make one of those shareable little social media images with your name and claim this because I think yeah. this is something that could really be circulated and inspire a lot of people actually. Yeah, I'll put my name on the bottom right there just to claim it. I don't think anyone's done it. I searched it up on the internet before. No, oh, it's but... really original. Yeah. And the leaves just look absolutely gorgeous. They've come out so well. We've yeah, got Pick Sorry. the right leaves, don't you? You have to pick the right ones. And do the right side of the leaf as well. Yeah. That was a bit of a learning <laughs> curve for me. We've got so many good comments coming off. I can't keep up with them all. But um, oh, Mandy no. says, looking fantabulous, Sam. <laughs> Nan says, hi, Sam, looking fab. Um, I can't remember what Sally said, but she said something nice about it. <laughs> oh, look oh, back at it. Love the design and the colour, Sam. It seems calming to me. Yeah. Um, and I also I suppose with plants they they grow quite slowly and steadily as well yeah. that you almost don't notice if you're like you know just in your garden but then all of a sudden you'll be like yeah. oh my goodness you know is is so I think there's there's a lot of metaphors with that actually mm -hmm. you know they could get cut back by someone but then still grow afterwards. yeah absolutely yeah in fact I've, I've been doing because I do I do like my plants and um Jade and Nikki actually gave me some plants this week and um, I was sort of you know you get all the others out and I was doing the watering and stuff and I had to like get rid of loads of dead leaves and it looked a bit sparse mm -hmm. but sometimes when you cut back all the dead bits and it looks sparse that's when it can really spring to life as well yeah. so yeah love all of that yeah. and, and my aloe you. veras have been breeding yeah, we used, we used to play Barry White music to the aloe vera plants <laughs> so that they would have babies, and it's quite effective. You should try it. <laughs> I'll try it on my cactus. <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's that is the only image on this this yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my cousin's looking forward to coming on Friday. Yeah, have you managed to get your your slot secured? Yeah, they've, they've put us for six thirty. Oh, perfect. You'll be one of the yeah. first then. Oh, that's nice. Because yeah. I'll probably be a bit nervous, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, you have to stand around and talk to people. And yeah. Yeah. I, I think I might have to just like not have too much champagne because there's that temptation <laughs> yeah. when you're anxious. <laughs> yeah. You drink a little too much. Yeah. And I, 
yeah I have been known at a private view <laughs> to have had too much and ended up taking off my shoes which is not very professional <laughs> so I'll try and keep sophisticated but at the end of the day I'm still me yeah we've got to be ourselves in a way yeah yeah and we're hoping it for people that want to we might meet up beforehand and go for food or or after and go for drinks so yes let us know what your plans are whilst you're there wonderful well I'll see you next week then thanks very much bye for now and next up we have somebody new which is very exciting I hope I'm saying your name right is it Keisha if I'm not please complain on the chat and then I shall try and correct it but I love this one it's a real celebration of pride month and there's representation of all the different flags here which is brilliant so I think um yeah Charles Charles and Keisha have kind of got on this theme which is wonderful real celebration of life and being who you are so jasmine the magical fairy if you are available hello hi would you mind reading out the email details bit please first thank you yeah so it says hi hannah please find attach my leaf rubbing creation for you to show on this week's live stream Since Pride Month is now coming to an end, I decided to make my leaf rubbings using the colours of different flags of the LGBTQIA plus community. I also found this week's workshop really helpful in tackling my anxiety because when I'm out of the house, I tend to use things like my phone to distract me from what's going on around me. But because I had to look for different shaped leaves, I was much more aware of my surroundings and it ended up being a much more enjoyable walk because of it. I'm looking forward to next week's workshop and thanks, Keisha oh brilliant and I think yeah I am so guilty of getting zoned into the phone and swiping through endlessly when it's gorgeous outside especially today it's been lovely and sunny it is just good to kind of get some fresh air and yeah like you say take time to appreciate the present moment I guess so wonderful and we would love it if you would join us next week and you are more than welcome to come on the live or to just submit like you did today but it's always great to get a bit of context about how you found the workshop and and how you got your inspiration so that was absolutely perfect so welcome to creative change workshops next up we have sally's work to look at so if we move on to the next oh leslie i've got the wrong order Oh, yeah, sorry. I found it. I found it. Beautiful. Okay, Jasmine the Magical Fairy, are you able to read this out, please? Hello. (laughs) So, (laughs) Leslie said, Hello, everyone. Here are my leaf rubbings. The first one is done using different coloured wax crayons. The second, let me just go along to the second, if we can see. The second is a single colour of wax crayon and colour washed in watercolours. I didn't feel I got the true effect of wax resist on this. So I had to go, so I had another go and this is my third attempt. Um, As you can see, I had fun using all the materials I keep for my grandchildren when they visit. The craft materials have had far more use while I've been doing the creative change workshops than they have had from the grandchildren recently. Thank you, Hannah and the team for giving us great things to try. Best wishes, Leslie. Oh, fantastic. And yeah, I absolutely love the way that you've got all these different colours all together here and the ones that are cut out on the edge as well. It's just a really nice composition. And the rainbow, I love the colour wash of that as well. Absolutely gorgeous. This one almost reminds me a bit of like a rock pool or like a puddle with the leaves in or something. Lovely. We've got loads of good comments. Um, Naz says first one reminds me of shells leslie caroline says love the leaf rubbings Keisha." oh so that was for the one before and um, there's a sam says there's a rainbow theme going on this week excellent work absolutely so yeah we've got loads of great feedback and there is a bit of a delay so if i move on to the next one make sure that you check back in the chat because there may still be some lovely feedback for you to read okay so now we have Sally. Sorry about that. And I feel like we need a drum roll. Oh yes, this is Sally was our cover girl this week. Um, and I I love the fact that she's got the stick people involved. Jasmine, are you able to to read the 
the little blurb about this one, please? So Sally says, Dear Hannah and the Magical Fairies, I hope you've all had a good week. It's that time again. This picture evolved gradually from a memory of seeing people flying kites at Holcomb Beach in Norfolk, which gave me a sense of freedom. Here they are silhouettes against a fiery sunset, but surrounded by polluting objects washed up onto the seashore. Today's reality. I enjoy choosing the different leaves with the lovely shapes and patterns. Best wishes, Sally. Oh, it's brilliant. It reminds me of Gulliver's Travels. I don't know if you guys remember that. But um where they start to tie him up in like loads and loads of string or rope or something when he's on the beach. That's what it sort of reminded me of. Just the sort of miniature miniature people. Although obviously it's perspective in the picture. So Caroline says, very creative, Sally. Love it. Now says, this is fab, Sally. Good sense of movement here. And it's it's just really interesting. It's taking on, you know, the example that we gave and then turning it into something quite, you know, it's, it's a real scene. It's like you can imagine telling a story about the day that they're having on the beach there, which is wonderful. And nice to draw upon your memories as well, Sally. So thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, next up we have Amanda, the lovely Amanda. And I, li I like the, f the foil idea. I wish I thought of that before, but this works so effectively. So Amanda says, hiya, I've added a few leaf rubbings in foil just to see how they'd come out. And they've come out really well. The patterns on that, have, they, and they've, they've held it, the shape really well as well. That sort of makes me think maybe we could do some stuff like that around Christmas. That'd be quite nice to sort of wreaths and stuff, wouldn't it? Wonderful. And we've got loads, loads and loads of positive comments coming through. Now it says, oh, I want to try some silver foil leaf rubbings now, Amanda. We've got more comments for Sally about Holcomb Beach and how it holds some lovely memories for Mandy as well. But just great composition. And um, I think we've got, have we got two images? I think there, there might be another one to look at. Oliver's looking forward to going to the beach. <laughs> and yeah, you can see the layers of them here and the different colours. It just looks gorgeous. So great work as always, Amanda. And thank you for bringing us a whole new technique. And we've got some, some more feedback for Sally stuff coming through too. Okay, next up, we have live guests, Caroline and Zeus. And we have some progress on Zeus because he's been a bit poorly. Yes, he has. So for those of you that don't know, Zeus is our Creative Change Workshops dog. <laughs> or lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing the cone of shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's such a cool name. <laughs> the kind of shape poor is this is he is he feeling better now though he's he's, he's yes had an operation, he is, hasn't he? yes he had uh an emergency another operation an emergency operation on monday and he's now on um antibiotics as well but luckily they were able to go into the old wound so it wasn't too bad as far as sutures are concerned but yeah he is much much better definitely oh. Bless him and his little cone of shame. When are you allowed to take that off then? Uh, I can take it off when he's feeding. The, the trouble is I have tried to be kind and take it off a bit more, but um, I just find that he starts licking all, all his yeah. soup. Oh, bless <laughs> his heart. Well, you've done well then to get four images for us today. Well, I sort of finished them over the week because, um, yeah, I, I did those on Sunday and that was um, after his first operation and things were at that time progressing smoothly. So I just went and got a load of leaves from the garden and got the wax crayons and coloured them in and cut them out. Um, and then, of course, on Monday it went a bit wrong. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, then um, I I asked um, Oliver if I could put some other pictures in that I'd done of sort of environmental stuff. So, um, yeah. yeah, this is I repurposed a canvas and uh, I used acrylics and I used my favourite technique, hands. <laughs> so about 80, 85% of that is done with my hands because wow. I, I just got so messy and loved it. 
and then um, the trees were obviously with brushes and the leaves were um, with the little spatula. So, yeah, I, I just love blending it all in the autumn colours. It almost glows, doesn't it? There's a really, it's the light in it. It just, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I, th I think it's because there's just lots of different layers. So, so did you do kind of like a, a gesso background first of all and then add um, the acrylics on? Or? Be because it was a repurposed canvas, I just stuck some cheap white acrylic on it and then just got going. Brilliant. Well, that's that's a good idea for other people as well. So if you happen to be in like a charity shop or something and they've got yeah. an old canvas, but you don't like the design, how great is that to just do something over the top? So upcycling as well. Yep. I think it was about three pounds or something. Yeah. Perfect. And oh, this is good. I reckon Mandy will love this one because it's a bit fairy like, isn't it? Yes. Of. Yes. <laughs> I, I kind of tend to go from one extreme to the other, from really light into dark. But um, I I painted the tree and, and all the lights on the tree and I thought I really want to try having a go at a lantern. So I got onto YouTube and did it. And I, I was very thankful I was able to do it because once you put down that black paint and ruin it, if you ruin it, you think, oh, no, it's sort of hours of work. But, um, yeah, it was all about light it was more about covid i guess covid and nature and and hope light in the darkness kind of thing yes, exactly exactly beautiful i love the, i love how you've done the grass as well it's really sort of soft blending it's not like those really harsh lines it's really really beautiful Thank and we've got we've got tons tons of comments about zeus like <laughs> about 20 people talking about how, like, I hope Zeus is okay. <laughs> he's definitely like, I, I think he's similar to Jade and he's one of the stars of the show. But he actually <laughs> seems to quite like being on my lap and listening and watching. So. <laughs> oh, he's a fan. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh. And yeah, lots of people are liking the idea of using your hands and getting messy with the art as well. I think there, there are two different types of people, actually. There's a kind of like a great divide on that front. There's people who just want everything to be like carefully laid out and not get any mess. And then there's people who just get stuck in and, you know, we're all different, aren't we? But yeah. I, th I think I quite like the sensory stuff, definitely. Yes. And this is beautiful and on theme because it's all about, you know, the environment. This one really intrigued me. Is this more sort of horror type or have I misread it? Yeah, that's that's more the dark side of the of the environment, the horror, gothic, Halloweening type. This is what's gonna happen if we don't look after our environment. So it was the the scarecrow and the the spiky trees and the branches are almost hands. And then there's like a, a plant that almost looks like a human. And um, I've kind of, I know this is a bit horrific, but on one of the leaves on the right hand side, I've, sorry, one of the branches, it's kind of, there was a big blob when I was trickling paint down and I thought, oh gosh, that looks a bit human-ish. So I kind of made it into a, a human looking horrible person. I think, yeah, I can see, I can almost see people like, images in the trees yeah. but you, you do get that in forests don't you when it yes. looks you like you see a shadow and you're like, oh is that someone there yes yes I think it's really interesting and it looks like there's someone in on the purple bit at the back like a person with their arms up yes really. yeah 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 you can yeah. really see that but the purple and and the sort of pencil work really well don't they well I was just again I was just like doing very broad brush strokes and not being careful and just kind of going with the flow and and you can tell that you've built up lots of layers which is it almost brings it into that kind of 3d perspective of the foreground and the background Charles says gothic there's been loads of comments that I haven't been able to read out but hopefully you've seen them pop up <laughs> but I think everybody is a fan of your work and it's always really interesting and I like the fact that you're not afraid to explore darker themes because I think sometimes we're like I mean I think it is good to focus on positive things I think it's good for mm -hmm. us but 
but actually uh, some things are difficult and still need addressing do you know what I mean like yes. you know like our topic on domestic abuse like yes some people might be like well it's not for well-being thing that's really not going to cheer people up but actually it needs addressing so that we can promote well-being for people long term and do you see what I mean yeah well so, out of the darkness will come the light absolutely but sometimes I think in order to experience the light you have to have had some darkness yeah they really say that cool. about paintings as well don't they that if you didn't have the black paint it wouldn't mm you wouldn't know the vibrancy of the colours because there wouldn't be that contrast. And like, I yeah. like that as a kind of metaphor for life, actually. Yes. In the same way that like with tapestries, you can have a stunningly beautiful tapestry, but at the back of it, it's all tangled and messy and knotty. Yes. But actually sometimes, you know, there is that yin and yang sort yeah. of thing. It's like a swan treading water. You never know what's going on underneath. Behind yeah. yeah like Man Mandy's got a great picture of that actually I think it's on our Facebook of, of like you know you don't know what's going on underneath yeah. but it looks all graceful so really powerful stuff as always I'm so pleased that Zeus is on the mend and you've been able to join us <laughs> yes um, um... <laughs> and will you be around next Saturday because I'm guessing that you won't be able to come to London if he's no no I won't <laughs> but I'll be thinking of you we might do like a little live stream, like, hey, look, we're at the gallery on yeah, Facebook, cool. just to sort of say hi and give yeah, you a little Yeah, that would be call. great. So that would be cool. But yes, but we've got the bird challenge, so, so we yeah, can Yeah, I'm looking forward that. to that. That would be wonderful. Okay, thank you ever so much, Caroline. Great to see you, you, and we will much. see you next week. Bye, Zeus. Bye-bye. <laughs> so adorable. Bless him. <laughs> Um, I think we had a slight glitch with um, the internet. So some of the BSL mm -hmm. cut out for a short period of time, but we're back now. So sorry about that. Um, and here we have Nikki and Pete. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. I'm not, your purple t-shirt is standing out to me today, Nikki. I can't see the design, but it's very cool. It's cephalopods. What on um, earth is a cephalopod? I thought I need to... <laughs> Octopus, um, Nautilus, that sort of thing. Oh, brilliant. So is I this your, your work here or is this Pete's? This one's mine, yeah. I love the arrangement of this. I think it's just stunning. Yeah, I've got yeah. like sort of this bright springy sort of fresh green going through to the sort of lovely rich warm autumn colours and I would never have thought to have done it on the diagonal but there's something really lovely about that actually the shape of it it's, it's the only really thing it's on. <laughs> <laughs> well it's very effective and did you enjoy it because it's quite I did yeah a playful task this one I think isn't it? it sort of reminds you of when you were young well for me it reminded me when I was probably at primary school but yeah. it was really good and like you said, you had to be careful which leaves. I tried sort of a whole range of leaves, but any of the sort of softer sort of leaves from the weeds, they just sort of disintegrated if you weren't careful. But I found the trees were a lot better than leaves from the trees. Yeah, definitely. And especially the ones with the, the more prominent veins tend to work quite well. Yeah. Great. Well. I think, have we got a video actually as well to show? I'm just now remembering. At the end. <laughs> At the end. Okay. Cool. Because I thought, why just do a, you know, sort of just a pile of leaves? So I ended up with a, like a, a forest chicken type creature. <laughs> I bet Jaden will love that one. I've got a feeling he's like, oh, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I just sort of played around with it a bit. I mean, I did try and make a rabbit because. The two long leaves, they were actually dandelion leaves. We've got quite a lot of dandelions. Um, we've got basically wildflowers, weeds. Um, and so I had some very long leaves and I did try and make a rabbit, but that didn't work very well. But I thought the sort of forest chicken worked quite well. <laughs> it works brilliantly. And I like the fact that you've got the, the sort of foliage over the top as well, like the canopy. Yeah. 
Now I tried it without, but um, it didn't work very well without. <laughs> oh, it's great. And yes, cheerleaders, please get commenting. <laughs> Katie says, Nikki, your use of layering is really effective. It's full of life. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yes. Oh, Sally says a wedding bouquet. I'm guessing that's for the last one that you did. But yeah, right. That's kind of what I thought of that almost like carrying a beautiful bouquet. When I finished it, I thought, oh, yeah, it does look just like that, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. And so did you stick them down with, with glue or did you just kind of lay, it lay them all placed. out? Yeah, yeah. Just that's it just That's why nice, I though. move them all around. And <laughs> yeah, really lovely. So, Pete, are you up next? I am, I think. Uh, we gonna get, are we going to get the video first or the picture? If we can get the, oh, that's good, the picture uh. first. So I'll tell you a bit about that. Go for it. Um, yeah, so this, um, I reused some stuff from an earlier session. Um, we did mixed media um, early on, and I did a background of acrylic on canvas and I liked it so much, I didn't want to put anything on top of it. It's like an alien uh, landscape, almost Martian. Um, and I made a second piece, which uh, I uh, did a second canvas and I actually put something on top of that. But um, this is just reusing first canvas. So I took a photograph of it um, and then I took a rubbing of a leaf. So that's, that's my one leaf that I took the rubbing off. Very, very nice, actually, very nice textures. Um, I then cut the uh, um, cut the uh, rubbing out. That's a crayon rubbing uh, of the leaf. Cut it out and bent it into a shape to make it look like a falling leaf. And then mm. uh, took one photograph of it and re um, replicated the photograph and moved it into different positions. So it it represents a falling leaf on a barren landscape, a metaphor for environmental damage. Uh, a single leaf surviving leaf falling to the ground it's wonderful and the fact that it's not a bright green leaf as well like the colors that you've chosen is kind of that sort of I don't know not decay as such but it's, it's definitely not full of life it's like a sad image if you see what I mean that's the effect I wanted to get a quite dull sad leaf a single it represents a single leaf falling to the ground um, and I did it all in um, a photo editor. Um, so it's a single photograph of my uh, rubbing. Um, and at the bottom, I used a bit of burning in the photo editor to um, give a bit of shadow to show that the leaf is fallen to the ground at the bottom. Oh, we can see that now. That is brilliant. So so you get, I'm liking all the digital skills that are emerging here as well. I wouldn't know where to start on that front. So, I wasn't, sure how, I wasn't sure how well it would show on the screen, especially if anyone's watching on small screen. So I, I made a video of it um, showing each of the leaves as a frame. Can um, we so that's see if last. we can do that? We're going to see if it works. We're not 100% sure if it will it'll be successful, but we're going to give it a go. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed, everybody. Oh, 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 oh did it not work? Oh, okay. Okay. So it's, it's each uh, each of the leaves as it falls through the air on on the different coloured background because there are four coloured backgrounds um, in the picture, I'm, and that's oh, you can see the gray. shadow really well there, can't you? At the end, that's beautiful. And thank you for sending that to us because it it does it does give us a much better view. I can imagine that would be good on a loop, maybe with some music or something as well. Mm. It's brilliant. And we'll mm -hmm. post that on, hopefully on the Facebook page and maybe on Instagram if we can work out how to do that. Great. So okay. the world can see it. <laughs> um, lots of wonderful comments coming through. That says, loving your work this week, you too. Um, Sally says, that's a very moving piece of work, Pete. Charlotte says, lovely work, Nikki and Pete. Caroline yeah we've got loads of people saying nice stuff you can see the leaf falling I know that Charles said something really eloquent that I've totally missed but if you look back he said something really beautiful as he does he's a wordsmith isn't he 
amongst his other talents. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did read it. I can't remember quite what it said, but it was very it was, nice. It was something about like it gently descending or something yeah. lovely. It's quite poetic. It was lovely. Thank so you. thank you very much, you two. And have you, did you get the memo about how you have to book in for Friday if you'd like to come along? We aren't booked in yet, uh, but we'll have a look at the menu. Uh, memo. 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 Email, email, or that's menu. right. <laughs> so it's a shit yeah it's a shame that they're 30 minute slots but then i guess then more people can come so yeah but thank you very much and we will see you soon so moving on we now have live guest charlotte oh i always look forward to these like i don't know what's going to appear before <laughs> me when it gets to charlotte loving that and you're rocking your rainbow as well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you. You look lovely and vibrant. Yeah, the rest are behind me. They're watching a film. Are they hiding? Yeah. Are they lurking? In the they'll, come say up and, they'll come up in a minute, I think. Cool. Say hello from us all. Um, and oh, and we, you've I saw your lovely t shirt design that you were doing today with, oh, the, yes. with the lion roar. That sounds yeah. great. Might you actually tell us that. about it quickly. You tell us about yeah, Homestart. They want a Christmas T-shirt to represent what we do at Homestart, and um, the six of us designing something, and we'll see what they like. But I did Raw as one of the themes, and I did Flowers as another to nurture the family. Oh, and, that's uh, wonderful! So I really enjoyed it, and I had to sort of draw the T-shirt on Word because I don't, I don't use Photoshop or anything like that. So I just sent it off and hope for the best. Yeah. Is Leon wearing a wig by any chance? I can just oh. see this little, <laughs> this little wig behind you appearing. There oh, is. fabulous. <laughs> it's a new one, isn't it? I don't think we've seen it's that one before. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, life in your house must just be so much fun. <laughs> He wants to paint all the walls. I only decorated a year ago and he wants to oh paint, paint them bright orange. I'm like, no, no, let's leave it a little while. <laughs> what is, is this fun. like a scarf that you've got around your neck? It looks a bit like a snake. Like a <laughs> ah, <laughs> brilliant. Fabulous, fabulous. You, I just, we need a screenshot of you two. Can you take a selfie take and a send selfie, it to yeah. us? Take us we, one, we yeah. can put it on our, our social media. Cool. That would be wonderful. I will have Green a go, team. Yeah. Well, take one on the screen. Yeah, well, and that's maybe it. off. Yeah, that's a good one. Beautiful. And then I'll do another one, Rocket. yeah. Yeah, and do one of you two as well. Because we like to get your faces up and be like, you know, <laughs> look at all these amazing people on our show. <laughs> it's going to sound I, kind you, like yeah. making it look like you've got a wig I now. know. <laughs> So do you want to tell us about this piece then? Because I'm getting distracted. That's all right. Yeah. Um, this is I cheated a bit. I did tracing paper with acrylic and put the leaves on top. But I did a lot of this with the care homes, you see. That oh, I used to lovely. do art with. And they loved it. And um, you can get really messy. And then you just pull the leaves off and you leave the silhouette behind. But tracing paper is really nice for this. And you can just mix all the colours up. So, oh, yeah, yeah great it's quite easy. Idea. Yeah, I like it when 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 you look come up with your own things that we can then go off and try again, which is great. <laughs> yeah. I must and get more got... tracing paper actually. Do a bit more, yeah. and we've got another image as well. I think to see. Yeah, one more. Yeah, magical fairy jasmine. Here we go. Yeah, this one I um, managed to get some of the print off the leaf, um, and some grasses at the bottom. But uh, yeah, so I. I didn't go with the crayons. I just wanted to use acrylics, my favourite. But, yeah, and I'm really looking forward to the birds. I've already got a good idea. I thought the workshop was brilliant. So, fantastic. I, it's going to be a shame when it all finishes. I know. But the good news is that for those of you that didn't do our last project before this one, which was Between Spaces, we actually have a whole other series of activities that you can watch on YouTube and go through. Brilliant. It's, also, it's also quite funny seeing how we've progressed because we've got way more tech stuff now. So back then we literally were just in the middle of lockdown with just phones. And it, it's quite funny, <laughs> actually, to go back and look at. 
good. <laughs> and Sam says, love the art, Charlotte. Bringing the Aww. party tonight, as party. always. Love the rubbing and the first and the negative. Yes, yeah. great. Yeah, Fabulous. Get, get messy when you're painting, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm really sorry, but we're kind of yeah. running out of time. So I need to squeeze Naz in next. But yeah, hello, bye Naz. Naz. Bye. And Naz, last but not least, who has brought her face <laughs> paint game. And you've got your art on your face, haven't you? Yes, I thought I'd do. <laughs> we I get do close that. up. Oh. Right, let me see which way I'm going. I'm not sure that I'm going the right That's way. Brilliant. <laughs> and we've got the googly eyes. You can't go wrong with googly oh, yeah. eyes, can you? Head up and googly eyes. <laughs> Fabulous. So let's see your artwork. Well, I'm feeling a bit of the old one out because I've gone all black and white and there was all this wonderful rainbow colours this evening. <laughs> but then you've got the dark and the light, which has been a bit of a yeah, theme as well. Too, so that's yeah. cool. <laughs> And it's I, I'm picturing things creeping behind, like almost imagining yeah. what what animals or characters they are. Yeah, it was a bit of an afterthought. The eyes, but I I have to thank Tracy for the um, leaf rubbings because Tracy bought me um, a hosta plant, and um, there's a distinct lack of autumn leaves at the moment. So I thought, oh, what am I going to use? And um, insects have been after my hosta plant, so I thought, well, I'll trim off the leaves, sort of cut round them. And I discovered that you were talking about the veins earlier. These veins are magnificent. They just give it a really de good definition. So um, I thought if I use black, it might, um, you know, pop a bit more. Um, so I started by putting the leaves down. And I thought, oh, it needs something else. <laughs> um, it needs some eyes in the darkness. <laughs> and it is so effective. It really is. Like, you wouldn't mm. think that was an afterthought either. It looks like you had intentionally gone out. And this is part of the design, which is amazing. Oh, <laughs> got lots of people saying that they love the googly eyes no oh, thank great, you <laughs> great work Naz love this idea oh my goodness love this the wild wood oh maybe that's what we could call our party thing the wild wood oh, yeah. like, I'm, I'm picturing it like yeah we definitely <laughs> fairy wings and stuff as well so I'm afraid we have to scoot onto your next image quite quickly because I know I'm over time now so Oh, that's yes. Yeah, so this is the, the close up. Talking about, oh yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> is so this? Is this? Oh, that's the crayon. I was, I was trying to work out if it was part of the stem, but it's not. It's, no, it's, it's my black crayon. Oh, <laughs> with the green I like the stars. Confusing, isn't it? <laughs> this actually looks like a piece of conceptual art to me. Actually, I think it looks like a palm tree, and I'm loving the background with the stars. It's oh. fine if you want to call it a palm tree, it's fine by me. <laughs> and I'm going to share a little, a very short story about Naz and I going to this art exhibition this week, which we went to. Yeah. And I looked at something at the very end of the exhibition and it was just a notice board and I thought it was an art installation. <laughs> and it literally was just like a peg notice board. So that in and of itself is quite amusing, wasn't it? <laughs> but yes, good fun. <laughs> Oh, that was oh. just looking at the artwork wasn't it yeah and mm -hmm. so Oliver's put a nice nice thing in there about reminds him of biking in the woods at night like oh. our hedgehogs peeking through the leaves oh, oh yeah, yeah. Love hedgehogs. <laughs> absolutely so what a there is no better way to end this than talking about our visit to the, to the art exhibition and, and the accidental art installation that was not art <laughs> So on that note, we will see you next week. But on Saturday, we're going to do a sneak peek on the Friday of the actual exhibition in London, which is in Whitechapel. And all of the details will be on Facebook if you want to come along, but you do have to pick. OK, thank you so much for all your lovely contributions and stunning work. See you next week. Bye for Bye. now.